Welcome back to Mountain Bike Physics. You just watched a video that provides evidence that a fat bike tire has a distinct advantage over a traditional mountain bike tire in deeper, loosely packed snow. But why if all other things are equal? A fat bike tire has a 4 to 5 inch diameter versus a traditional mountain bike tire that may be 2 to 2.4 inches in diameter. This increases the fat bike tire's contact with the trail surface, in this case the snow. This is known to mountain bikers as the tire's contact patch. This contact patch may be more than four times greater than that of the traditional mountain bike tire. The contact patch is the area in our pressure equals force divided by area equation. So a larger contact patch produces a smaller pressure on the snow, but how is this an advantage? Well, in the case of deeper snow, you don't want your tire cutting through the snow, but rather floating on it. A narrow tire produces greater pressure, which in turn causes the tire to cut through the snow. If there's no solid trail below the snow for the narrow bike tire to grab, the bike has no traction. This is a huge advantage of fat bike tires over narrower mountain bike tires the ability to float on a loose snow surface. Mountain bikers call this an increased footprint on the snow. If the snow is not very deep and the narrow tire can make contact with the trail through the snow, it may have an advantage due to less tire, therefore less snow to push out of the way, less friction. Another advantage for the fat bike tire is that it holds huge volumes of air and therefore it can be run with very small tire pressures. This causes the tire to squish down even more on the snow surface, increasing contact patch, therefore increasing footprint. Now if you still haven't quite got the concept, think about two people with equal mass walking on a snow covered trail. One is in hiking boots, the other is on snowshoes. The hiker wearing only boots sinks in the snow upon each step, while the hiker with the snowshoe floats on the snow surface, seldom sinking into the snow. Now you know. It's all about pressure. The next video in this sequence contains your mountain bike physics problem on pressure.